Because I don't believe that you're addicted to caffeine unless I come over to your house and I see you drinking two Coke Zeros an hour. Like, that's, that's the kind of dose you need to trigger the response in your body, bro. Don't you drink cold brew? Yeah. I'm addicted to caffeine. It's got nothing to do with the Coke Zero. If I didn't have a coffee at 5.50 in the morning, yeah, I'd be fucking confused and my nose would be running. I'd have a headache. One Coke Zero, two Coke Zeros, five Coke Zeros. It makes no difference. The Coke Zero has, has none caffeine. It has negligible caffeine. Let's put it that way. You're full of cope. I would honestly go into an MRI machine for this. Unfortunately, they're all being used. <laughs> Apparently. What's the MRI going to do? I don't know. Be like, check it out. He got a Coke Zero and the caffeine receptor in his brain didn't light up like a fucking fireworks display. Again, if you, if you took the coffee out of my daily routine and I only have one, it would, I would not be feeling amazing. I would be feeling not normal at least. If you, I mean, because we're doing it right now. You take the Coke Zeros out, I, I feel exactly the same. This is like you're, you're standing next to like the Trinity test of the nuclear bomb. And then someone is like, oh, you should really put like the lead shield over your abdomen when you go in for an x-ray. I'm like, brother, the, the rentgens that I received from Oppie himself have rendered the rentgens I received from this x-ray completely moot. I'm fucked. <laughs> I was standing next to the bomb. I used to also be a two coffee a day, Andy. I'm just a one coffee a day guy now, though. Sometimes, well, it hasn't been probably like eight months since the last time I went to coffee. Well, no, maybe it was like two months, but then it was six months before that. But anyway, <clears throat> the, I always, I, I, I get myself into this cope situation where I'm like, um, oh, I'm a little tired. Maybe I'll have a, uh, maybe I'll have a, an afternoon coffee. And I have like a third of a cup of coffee at 2 p.m. And then my brain is like, you know, fucking 2000s era movie where someone shoots up for the first time. It's like everything starts going like 2x speed and my heart rate is and it's like an x-ray of my veins like narrowing and my heart going. Patum, 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 patum. And then my gut is like. Brrr. It's the Cokes. No disrespect, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not the Cokes, man. The Cokes are not making up the caffeine addiction. If anything, by the way, official name, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm willing to say this because you're using ad hominem attacks against me and one good turn deserves another. If you are affected by the caffeine in Coke, you're weak. Or you're drinking too much Coke a day. It doesn't make you a bad person. I'm just making an observation. Like if you have to buy caffeine free Coke and you don't have like a medical grade uh, uh, allergy to caffeine, my two cents, anytime I see one of those gold cans is I'm like, you gotta drink less Diet Coke, man. My mom drinks eight cans a day. That's not my problem. No disrespect. <laughs> You're letting your childhood trauma affect how you feel about a perfectly sane individual such as myself. You aren't sane? I'm the only sane one here as far as I'm concerned. I'm community center maxing. I'm community maxing in general. I'm at the library. I'm pulling weeds. I'm going down to the, the local hardware store and I'm asking, hey, do you guys have any extendable ladders? He says, yeah, follow me into this weird room in the basement. I go down to the room in the basement. There's lots of ladders 
hanging from the ceiling. I say, how long is this one? He says, looks to be about eight feet. I say, when it extends, how much does it extend to? He says, they usually extend their length plus another half. So I go, this thing goes up to 12 feet. Okay. Then his coworker comes out and says, I, I couldn't help but overhear you guys. They actually extend to two X their length. And he says, oh, okay, so 16 feet, that'll get the job done. I say, that'll definitely get the job done. They say, do you need help loading it into your car? I say, don't even worry about it. I'm parked right outside. You're going to tell me that I'm not insane? <laughs> you are insane. I mean, that I'm not sane. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm like Vegeta. I'm fucking super sane. Is that the kind of stuff normies talk about? It's the kind of stuff you might talk about like at the hardware store when you're buying a ladder. You might ask questions relevant to the, what do you want me to talk about? The end of Evangelion? Oh, I hate when I'm talking to somebody and they're being polite and they say, how about that weather we're having? Yeah, we can all see the weather. Even though we're strangers and we just met, can you ask like an important question for me instead? Like what's on my anime list? Man, fuck you. Among Us? Lowe's or home hardware? Excuse me. We're not going to the fucking chains, bro. We're going to Bill's Hardware. And we're leaving a 20% tip on the light speed point of sale machine. It's going all the way back, man. Let's take him back. Growing up, I was confused. My mommy kissing a girl. Confused in the cold world. Daddy ain't around. Probably out committing felonies. My favorite rappers used to say, check, check out my melodies. You know what I'm saying? 50's best verse. It's up there, for sure. This game is getting too punishing. There really should be checkpoints or something. Let me guess. You try to limit yourself to one Coke Zero a day so the caffeine doesn't make you jittery. I'm just asking questions. Saved. Still a long way down. Hey, NL, you see the piggyback ride boner tweet? Yep. Yes, sir. I, I did think it was crazy. Like, the dude posted the measurements of his phallus at the end of the tweet, or at the end of the Reddit post. And I was like, I, like I'll just be real with you. I got a rough idea of my length. I've never measured my girth, so I don't have like an anchor for how big like his measurements are. But like, is it normal that his girth is like the same as his length? Wouldn't this shit be like a rectangle or uh, like a cube or something? Like, like he was like 5.3 inches long, five inches girth. And I was like, that seems, I'm, I, it's not my business, but that seems thick, man. Circumference, not diameter. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like a, you know, 2 pi r or whatever. But, like, is that normal? Someone someone give me... I'm not saying measure yourself and tell me. That's fucking weird. But, like, is there, like, a paper from a doctor that's, like, what's the usual length to girth ratio? Is it If it's one-to-one, -one, then I don't know. Maybe I got to measure myself and see if I'm one-to-one. -one. I got to tell you, I don't think there's any shot this motherfucker's two inches around. That would be huge. <laughs> kick W, kick W. You're snitching on yourself? No, 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 it's the internet classic. You make jokes about how your dick is small, then when you're in the change room at the gym, boom. Average size penis. You looking for this? <laughs> mm. 
We love our average dicks, don't we, folks? I don't know. Except when I get too sick, the head turns gray. Confirmed. It happens. It's something to do with uh, blood hypoxia, man. Not this again. <laughs> the head is soaring. How do I know what you mean? Listen, I know people think that I bring this up to be gross. I don't bring it up to be gross. I bring it up because so many people think it's gross that we don't get to talk about the human body with the kind of openness that we should be able to talk about it. This motherfucker is weird, man. Sometimes you wake up, like I'm, you already know if you're a longtime viewer, I'm circumcised. It's against my will, but I'm like, I don't harbor any resent. I'm not Corey. I'm not harboring resent over it. I'm not making it like part of my identity. No disrespect. It's, he's entitled to. They shouldn't have done it, man, but it's done and it worked out okay for me. I'm not... It's, you know, I, w I wouldn't pass that trauma onwards. You know, I would leave that up to the, the person in question. But either way, so the head is like on display. Most of the time I wake up, you know, I don't even know what color you would call it. Somewhere between like a, a, a light pink and a light purple. That's, how, that's like my alarm system. When I see that, I'm like, I must be feeling okay today. Sometimes you wake up and the color's a little bit off and you're like, what's going on with this thing, man? I gotta go see the doctor. You got me checking right now? What? You can't help but check, man. It's not red? Well, like, my fellow sliced Andrews, no. It gets red, but like, Not 24-7, you know, you'd have bruises. It's got, I don't know, it's got like a, a, a pinkish hue to it with purple accents. It's like a mood ring, that's what I'm saying. Mine's green. I think you gotta get that checked out. You are a, you're a zombie. You said gray? That's when I was sick, man. I know it's not normal. That's why I was trying. I, I've been talking about this with Kate. I got to like exercise this trauma somehow. I go in the chat and I'm like, I'm really sick today. People are like, sure. They hit me with like the, the smug frog emote. Yeah. You think you're sick. I have the sniffles. Plus the boomers destroyed the housing market. And then I'm like the head of my penis has turned gray, which is not normal. That's how sick I am. And then they're like... Hey, why would you say that? Why is it gray? I don't know. I'm not a urologist. And it's not gray. It's back to the, the you know, it's normal pinkish hue. It's got some color to its cheeks again. But it was gray for like, you know, at least the morning. It's not necrosis. It smelled normal. It fucking smelled good. I probably just slept on my tummy or something like that. <laughs> anyway, how much time we got? 25 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. TMI, but keep going. I don't have any shame over, like, I mean, the human body. It's just the human body, man. Obviously, if somebody invented it, they would fix a lot of the problems. But it's like a complicated biological system. It's messy. I'm in hell. How can you hate AI, but also hate human beings? Like, you got to pick a side. The war is coming. I'm taking the side of flesh, okay? Yeah, there's goo and fucking enzymes and shit like that and sometimes it's a little bit messy and there's like piss and shit but at least it's real man there's spirit in it hey not bradlington and uh librarian thanks for the gifted subscriptions thank you thank you i'm just gonna say it and again You, you can choose to be offended by this if you want, okay? 
If you're in your 30s or your late 20s, when TikTok has you typing ew in all fucking cringe caps in chat, you're not going to make it. You got it. You got a very short amount of time. You got to nut up and become an adult. It's happening. It's going to happen to you too. What are you going to do? You, you, the head of your penis is going to change color. You're going to go to the doctor. Hmm. My wee wee has a troubling sign. Doctor's going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And what cartoon character is that on your shirt? They're going to they're gonna ask you to put it in terms that they can understand. They're going to be like, why are you being so weird about it? It's your body. You got to get over it, man. It's Iron Man. When your doctor says, I love Robert Downey Jr., and then you get to explain that it's actually from the comics. No! We hold? What colors are the bluey characters? You're not going to believe this. So there are some blue, bluey characters. They're not all blue. Bluey is blue. And Bandit, the dad, is blue. Bingo is like beige. And so is Chili, the mom. I'm just saying, man. I gotta have some serious conversations here. If you're 20 years old and you're like, ooh, pee pee talk, I get it. Like, you're trying to like cling to the childhood that only recently left you. But if you're like 35 and you're like, this talk is disgusting, you honestly have to grow up. It's like, I I'm going off, man. I used to think the most cringe thing about millennials, a generation that I'm like smack dab in the middle of and thus have like, I mean, I've, I've got the resentment, but I also embody their traits, right? Because I grew up in the same Petri dish. I used to think the most cringe aspect of, you know, a stereotypical millennial was like, undying love for like Harry Potter but now I'm realizing like there's been like two roads diverging of wood why are there so many people my age that are still trying to be like 12 years old you had your chance bro we got new 12 year olds that need to like have a childhood and shit stop buying all the Pokemon cards dude the 12 year olds need the Pokemon cards at MSRP they can't be buying that shit from fucking channelfireball.com it's expensive bro Send it. Send it. It's my money. I'll buy the cards. I mean, you're right. It's fine as long as you're not giving me a minus two for my penis talk, okay? It's capitalism again. Listen, the boomers fucked us, and I'm part of the, the generation that got fucked. You, you might not like to hear it, but it's true. I'm 35. It, there's been a housing crisis in the city that I've lived in since like 2006 or something like that. The problem is you got to embrace the fact that nobody cares about nuance. So like you're going to get fucked the whole way up. And then when you're 65, even though you have fucked your whole life, the fucking 22 year olds in 2070 are going to be like, why didn't you do anything about the housing market? And you're going to be like, because I was getting fucked by it too, brother. Well, still, I think you... The millennials and Gen Z get all the blame because you could have stopped it. And you're like, you then that's where you get into the millennial cringe as well. I'm going through my seventh once in a lifetime recession. Keep calm and rent on. Don't you own a house? I'm on your side, okay? I'm voting for increased densification. I'm not going to city council meetings going like, oh, this building's gonna be three stories tall. It's gonna ruin the character of the neighborhood. I'm like, build that bitch, bro. I want like some Mexican restaurants around me. I don't want it to just be Tim Hortons and Cactus Club cafes and Boston pizzas and shit like that. I want some, I, I want some good fucking food, man. <laughs> Is 
This ice is fucking cracking, dude. Just eat the damn bagels. If anything, I want a Costco in my neighborhood, okay? Probably not realistic because they need like a ton of space for those. But maybe like a little Costco? Help me. That's called a store? Yeah, but like maybe one that it costs 60 bucks to enter. Oh, you mean like Whole Foods? <laughs> oh, man. Got him. Oh, we got him. Is there anything in this game that says you have to push the boulder up the hill? Honestly, everyone in chat is going to hate that you said that, but that's the first insightful comment I've read all day. That's fucking, that's a great little thing to ponder. This is how I know that if you wanted to punish Sisyphus, you would take the rock away. Bro saw a ramp and a rock, and he said, I know exactly what I must do. He could have just walked up the, the fucking hill, man, to fetch a pail of water. It's an interesting thing to think about. You could also just turn off the game. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, that's fucked. What kind of ice? This is fucking... This ice is too slippery, man. This is not real ice. This is... You've heard of dry ice? This is fucking wet ice. Okay. Hold... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. Just a little bit for it. Don't get impatient. The temptation to glance is so strong. But I'm resisting. Holy cow. Look at that. And send it up. We still got 15 minutes. Holy. the dopamine how much longer is this game it's the rest of your life brother this is punishment it's not punished this is this is fun I know that you think I'm misrepresenting my position to put on airs for the purposes of humor I have been known to do that from time to time, though I resent having to resort to that base level of comedy. I think if I was working a normal job, I would rather come home and play this than play League of Legends. There, I'd rather play Balatro, probably. But I would definitely rather come home and play this versus League of Legends. That's not even up for discussion. That's not saying much. It's the most popular game in Earth's history. You're all playing it right now. Only difference is some of you won't admit to me. They might not even admit it to yourself. League is mass hysteria. Kate, are you still here? Kate is a league player. I'm, I, I'm, I'm done apologizing for merely expressing my opinion. I have no control over the power of policy and stuff like that. I got no real power, okay? I've just got a little soft cultural influence. I don't think they designed it like this, but I do think League of Legends is a, is a non-negligible factor in uh, the continued erosion of society 
that has been emblematic of, I would say, about 2010 till 2024. It's not the biggest element of it for sure. It's just one more domino in the chain. But like, I don't see how you could play that for 2,000 hours and then walk outside and believe that your fellow man is like trying to do their best for themselves and for society. Like, doesn't it irreparably harm your worldview? Like, when you walk outside, you, first time you walk outside, you might be like, oh, this sun is nice. But like, after five years of playing that game as your predominant game, there's no way you walk outside and you're like, oh, look, I'm out here with my fellow man. You're probably like, fuck this dude, fuck this dude, fuck you, I hate you. Hold. That was a big save. Your dentist probably plays league. None of my business because the hygienist does all the work anyway. But I do have a friend who's a dentist and is even worse. He plays Hearthstone. So like, I, I'm just saying, you know, we're, we're, you got to pick your poison, I guess. But in 2024, yeah, in 2024, I know it's crazy. You know, the same way, I, I can tell you this because I'm bridging the gap between the 35-year-old normies and the 35-year-old Twitch citizens. The same way people make a joke that, like, you know, as a man, you kind of just get frozen in a year when it comes to, like, your music tastes. Like, for me, it's probably, like, 2009 or 2010. The same thing happens to normies when it comes to video games. Like, if you ever... Talk to, it comes up for me all the time because like I meet other dads who are like my age and they play video games and they're like, what do you play? And I'm like, here's the ultimate test. I'm like, I play a lot of indie games. Like I used to play a lot of this game called The Binding of Isaac and 95% uh, of the time I get the Ozempic stare. Like they're just, they, were, they thought I was going to say Call of Duty or something like that. And then they're like, oh, I game too. And then it's always, and I don't think this is a bad thing at all because they're having fun. But it's always like I buy like Madden every year or NHL every year or I play like the new Call of Duty every year. And they play like, uh, like an hour a week because they got other shit going on. And, and that's okay. It's actually, I think it's aspirational. I think it's better than okay. Because, like, gaming isn't really, like, a hobby for them. It's, like, the same way you might keep, like, a piece of chocolate in your pantry and be like, I've had a rough day. I'm going to have some chocolate. They're like, oh, I had a lot of, like, stress today. I'm going to play, like, one level of the Call of Duty campaign. I'm like, that's the way it's supposed to be, man. You're not supposed to see me playing the game of fucking Sisyphus here. They're why games are ass. They're definitely not because they buy like one game a year and no DLC. Brother, how strong is that fucking Steam Jet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, stay on the railing, stay on the railing because then you won't spawn. We gotta do it, come on. Hold, that's not gonna hold, but it might hold on the next one. Oh, this is, we got a long way to go, man. We got a long way to go. They buy the same game every year. Look, you see how, there's a league player right there. I made up a person and you already hate him. And then you got people like, the elites are trying to pit us against each other. You fucking were born pitted, bro. I made this motherfucker up. And you hate his ass. Why? Because he plays Call of Duty? He spends his $60 a year in gaming on Call of Duty? And you spend it on fucking five pulls in Genshin Impact? Okay. Send it over here. Aren't we also making up the league guy? Well, I like it's not a real guy, but many people who play League will tell you that they are that person. Just because I don't know who it is, 
like I can't put a name to them, that doesn't mean they don't exist. Like, I don't know any fucking members of the Trudeau cabinet in the House of Commons, but that doesn't mean those motherfuckers don't exist. They're in, they're there in Ottawa. I don't know, like 80 days a year or whatever, doing their best. Hold, 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 hold. No. Saved. Saved, saved, I'm, I'm manifesting it, saved. Deserve for the straw man. All I'm asking you to do is, is respect your fellow man. The fact that you feel so aggressive about that, I mean, I think it says something more about you. But I don't blame you. I don't know what I blame, honestly. At some point, I blame you. When someone's like an asshole, I'm not saying you are being an asshole. When someone's an asshole and they're like, look at the world around me. Can you blame me for being an asshole? I'm like, how old are you? You're 21? I can't blame you. You're still working this shit out. But when you're, if I look at your Twitter profile and you're like, G proud Gen X, born 1979, I'm like, I blame you. I don't expect you to save the world, but you could, you know, maybe like work on the immediate environment surrounding you that's poisoning your mental. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta start, you know, Taking a little bit of responsibility. You gotta at least, you, you, listen, if the world's fucked, you're not making it any better by being mean to people. You might make it a little bit better by being nice to people. You know, it's not gonna get public health care passed or anything like that. But you know, you, you're, you're, you, you make a mistake when you're driving instead of honking at the dude and giving him the finger, you give him like a you know, like a knowing nod that's like everybody makes mistakes. That guy's less stressed out. He doesn't get into a horrific fatal car accident on the way home. Leave his family without a, a breadwinner. And then like the kid grows up to be like a Twitch streamer or something like that. Like you've, you've just from that one action, the butterfly effect, you've saved. What's our viewer count right now? I'm going to guess like 9,200 people from being damned. Thirteen thousand? What the fuck? For Sisyphus? All Sisyphus needed was a damn ring light, man. <laughs> a ring light and a Logitech C eight twenty camera. Dude would have been the first influencer. Finally, a game that's not Balatro. Mm, yeah, I, I also hate people playing the best game of all time. Hmm, play a worse... I, you know, I was, I was kind of trying not to pick a fight in Dan's chat for five minutes this morning, pre-Peloton. People were going off on Balatro. I hate Balatro. Ugh, it fucking sucks. I said, hey, brother, what do you want him to play? Spelunky! Same thing he played for four fucking years straight. Are you serious, bro? No disrespect to Spelunky is an amazing game. But like you, you, you can't go back, man. You had your time. Spelunky had his time in the sun. It'll probably, it'll be sprinkled from time to time. But you gotta, you gotta look inside yourself, man. Hang on, hang on, hold. He played it today. Oh, he got through Risk of Rain. <laughs> As long as Balatro is gone, society's cooked. Get it twisted. Society is cooked. You should be taking your paycheck in canned beans and rice. If we're in a world where people hate the best game that's come out ever, it's too late for you, man. It's too late for you. We hate it on stream then you are truly lost. Baldur's Gate 3 was better. Your coworker be like, Baldur's Gate 3 was better. 
Sorry, I just realized recently that for Gen Z, if you just take someone's statement you disagree with and then say, you sound like my coworker, you instantly win the argument. Okay, just, just get into safety, brother. You must be fun at parties. That's a millennial classic. Thanks, Debbie Downer. Hold, hold. I don't know why everybody hates their coworkers, too. You know they're also people, right? Like, you're all, you hate each other just because you happen to be in, like, the same environment. My coworkers are nice. This person is going to save society single-handedly, man. What's it like to be normal? Hold, 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 hold. Like you really lighten up your coworkers because their favorite movie is like The Hangover. Like you work in an office, bro. What did you expect? If you worked at a fucking movie theater, sure. You got to say the umbrellas of Schoenberg. It's signaling. But you're like, you're, you're, you're doing email and spreadsheets, man. What do you expect he's going to say? Battleship Potemkin? Like, he's got other stuff to do with his time. Okay, you know what? Hold here. I hope there's a saving feature. Because we're coming out of this, we're playing the new Lethal Company update in two minutes. So I should make sure that I'm ready. Good practice, good practice. 